Anyway fam, your girl is back with another video. And if you're new here, welcome to the family. Be sure to lock it in by subscribing to the family. And if you find the contents of this video helpful in any way, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Cause here at Shell's Way, we don't hide the tea, we provide the tea. These are the correct answers from the last video. If you haven't seen it, tune in. So this is the basting spray and water soluble stabilizer I used in today's video. Anything that I use will be linked down below. Okay, so we're in in brilliance. And what I usually do when I first start is I click edit, go down to preferences and select my hoop size. In this case, I'm doing 100 millimeter by 100 millimeter. It'll show you at the bottom, it's approximately four by four, which is the hoop size I have for my brother SE600. And we're gonna click okay. And okay, now we're gonna create our words. So we're just gonna hit create letters or hit the A at the top and boom. Now I already have my font selected, which is the sneakers font. And it doesn't show you um, the drop down of the sizes, but there is different sizes to choose from. I believe I went with 2.0 for mine. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and type my word. In this case, I'm doing Faith, which is my daughter's middle name. And then once you do that, you'll hit okay. Or I just clicked off to the side and then boom. There's your word. And then I'm gonna go ahead and turn it around while it's still in, in brilliance. You don't have to do this step. It's very unnecessary, but um, you can size it to whatever you want. I didn't want the words to be too large, too wide or anything like that. So I just did smaller. And then stay tuned till the end because I did make a mistake. <laughs> and But y'all know I don't hide the tea. I provide the tea and I want you to avoid the mistake that I made. So next I'm going to choose the color. I just hit on one of the color blocks and then it's a variety of colors to choose from. I chose purple, which is one of my daughter's favorite colors. Now it doesn't show you on the screen record, but it is a variety. Um, if you're following along or if you go in in brilliance, you'll see what I'm talking about. And then you can check your stitch pattern on how it's going to stitch once you get it on the fabric. So next we're just gonna save our file. So click on file and then you're gonna hit save as and you can name it whatever you want and select where you want to save it to. And I'm saving it to my USB drive. Just do the drop down at the top, select what you wanna save it to, name it and then click save. And that is all. Next, we're going to spray our stabilizer. In this case, I'm using the tearaway stabilizer. Um, you don't have to do this. You can use pin needles. I didn't have any, so I just used what I had. And then I'm going to place my bunny ear on the stabilizer and make sure that it's straight and spread out evenly. And as you see here, Okay, next I'm going to apply my water soluble stabilizer. I did use basting spray on top of the bunny ear again, and then I'm just going to make sure it's evenly placed. So now that I have it on my machine, next I'm just going to check the stitch path just to make sure it is in the correct Spot that I want it so that's what you see me doing here and that's gonna be the dotted line that's shaped like a square and I think it has an arrow attached to it I forgot to include it but so 
So I tried to get the view as close as possible just so you can watch it stitch and see how it sets on top of the water soluble stabilizer. It is so cute.
Next, I'm just gonna go ahead and tear away my stabilizer. Now, um, you can use water, of course, and also you can use a wet paper towel. I've seen people run it underwater. In this case, I really didn't have to do that. Um, it came off pretty easily. There is a little piece I missed in between the A and the I, but I did get it off eventually. And here is the back. And you see that little piece of tear away stabilizer still there. All right, y'all, so here is the finished product. If you remember in the beginning, I said that I made a mistake. So what I forgot to do was turn the word around on the left ear, and that's the one I did off camera. So just remember that or keep that in mind when you make yours, but it still came out cute and my daughter loves it. See y'all in the next video. If you found today's video helpful, lock it in by subscribing to the Seaway fam. We would love to have you boo and check out my suggested video above, link in the comments.